Hi traders, welcome to a recap of my live trading session today. First trade I had today was Boeing. Now take a look at Boeing starts down 2.1% and it tried to move higher as you usually expect and hope it's going to do some pressure in order to close the gap moving up but in case it comes down under 233 or so I would like to show this so I'm getting prepared here watching the buyers watching the sellers you see the buyers are right now just over under clicking the button and I'm moving in 4,000 shares short so I did short it under 233 had to chase it down like 20 cents or so I was hoping to get it exactly at 233 couldn't now it's coming down now the first pressure normally is up but then you expect the gap and go to happen and it just moved under the lows and as you can see I'm already up over three grand getting ready to take my partial covering 3600 shares just click the button and I did cover 3600 shares and it continues so I've got left 400 shares and now I'm moving to my next trade in BABA BABA is exactly the opposite it's up 1.7% you expect it to move higher and I'm getting ready to go long over 209.30 it's approaching the numbers you can see here sellers are very close now now over click the button and I got it just 5 cents over 209.30 so I'm expecting it to continue and move higher it's a fast forward of what happened earlier but uh, as you can see again it's the opposite of BA you expect some kind of a pressure to the downside some profit taking and then you expect it to move higher and it just did over the highs and I'm getting ready for my partial I'm getting ready to sell 3600 shares I'm already up as you can see here are like two grand just sold and um, left uh, 400 shares but the most important thing is to look at the pair of Bob and that in this case is Baidu now take a look at Baidu if you think my only decision to go long Baba was the fact that it started with a gap up or the fact that it had a nice reversal as it was trying to come down then move up you're wrong there's another decision making here and that has to do with Baidu if you watch Baidu you can see here and count the candles here's the first second third fourth now at the point I clicked long in Baba Baidu was already at the fourth one minute candle as you can see here and it's still moving higher so the thing is when you trade a stock like Baba you always need to look at pairs it does not always help it does, it's not always clear cut but when you see Baidu and again a Chinese company and uh, people are normally going for when they go for one Chinese company normally the whole sector is going up depending on the news depending on what happened but the fact is if you watch Baidu you get some kind of a pre-warning of what is about to happen in Baba now you know originally maybe I had a 60% chance to succeed in Baba but if I watch Baidu and I already see that ba Baidu on the first one minute candle moved already moved over the highs then that maybe now I've got 70% success rate and it's like very important in trading I mean the difference between 60% and 70% and again I'm not sure about the numbers of course but you always look at the pairs like if I'm trading Boeing I'm always looking at the airlines and again there's a lot of uh, pairs that you should be watching always watch the pair it helps you it help you come to, helps you come to a better decision and uh, by you gave you some kind of an idea of what is about to happen to Baba my next trade is a CAG and the same idea as Boeing same idea stock starts down with the gap down as you can see here it's down 2.6% and um, it tries to move higher and it's failing it just just took it a little bit more time than Boeing so I'm about to short it at the point of what I think is the point of no return which is right over here now again it, it may look to you that the stock is uptrending maybe it should stop here and move higher well it could happen of course but it's like 60% or 65% that it's going to go the opposite way meaning down because it tried to move higher and failed I'm fast forwarding it so you can see what happened there because there's no reason for uh, for you to hang on and look at uh, every second uh, of the trading uh, session here and as you can see it just moved down now it is reaching my target right over here and at that point I'm taking my partial and I just have 400 shares and hoping it's going to continue the ride so same idea a gap and go and down OSAT was my last trade today and OSAT is a different idea you see the stock is up more than 90% when you have a stock up that much you expect it to uh, fail or move higher I just shorted 8,000 shares at the point where I think it should come down now there's two ways of trading OSAT one is to go long certainly if you have the nice technical formation but I decided right over here that I should short it because it's already is establishing some kind of a pullback from the highs and what I 
actually personally see as a downtrend. I'm about to add, if it moves under 12, as you can see, I shorted it at 1250. And if it's going to move under 12, I will add another 4,000 shares. And here's the breakdown. And I'm about to add another 4,000 shares. And uh, right now, I just added. And again, at that point, it really did establish some kind of a downtrend. A lot of pressure. Again, remember, the stock is up 90%. You expect some profit taking. And, and, and again, this could happen both ways, but you, ha you just need to choose the right way. So here we go. I'm getting to the point where I would like to take my partial. I was really hoping for more. I was hoping to, for a big breakdown, took my partial here, left 1,000 shares, hoping it's going to continue to come down. Um, as you can see here, my result is four green trades today. I've got a great trade in OSAT and uh, CAG and BABA and Boeing, and I'm still leaving something for the continued move. You know, you take your partials and then you hope for some continuation. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't, but um, the idea is just to hang on and wait. So less than one hour today, as you can see here, I'm uh, up just over $13,000, 850 with open trades and uh, almost three grand, 13 grand in closed trades. Um, short day really and um, nice outcome thank you very much for watching and if you do want to watch more of my day trading videos there's lots of links right here below you can join our trading room for free uh, you can um, join us for free uh, trading sessions trading lessons and so on so just look at the links below and if you want to subscribe there's a button right here which you can uh, subscribe and uh, be notified when we upload more videos like this so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow